Today I learned the new song called Sonatina in F major. So do you know the difference between Sonatina and Sonata? I forgot. Okay. Actually, there's no like specific definition of Sonatina. So it's just a simple and small version of Sonata. Mm -hmm. So pretty much it's a Sonata version. Okay. Yeah, look at the here. The composer called Anton, right? Mm-hmm. So so the Anton is a Definitely the guy. So look at the year, year where he lived. Mm -hmm. So he lived in classic time, definitely, because it's a sonata mm -hmm. uh, era. And also, um, he born in a small town in Salzburg, mm -hmm. like near Salzburg. So actually, pretty close to Mozart's hometown. Mm -hmm. And he also, uh, I think he got taught it by a Haydn in a, like the choir in Salzburg. And you know, uh, he also moved to Vienna after all as a music and guitar teacher. Do you mm -hmm. know who also lived in Vienna at that time? Mozart? Yeah. Answer one and who? Haydn? Haydn. And who else? I don't know. Okay, there's a, another big one you may say is Beethoven. So these three are the for the the for the Viennese school, so pretty much three is a representative of the classic era, and also Schubert. He, as a primary teacher, also taught Schubert. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> look at the speed sign here. Mm -hmm. So moderato canto bell. So do you know the meaning for you? No, I only know what they said me by moderato. So moderato for medium. Speed or, mm. or medium tempo, okay? Yeah. So handle bell it means a singing style. Mm -hmm. So pretty much it's a soft and joy song. It's not like that quick or intensive, okay? So and also it's in F major. F major always give a tone like it's kind of joyful and like simple. So look at here. So let's take a look of the whole paragraph. Mm -hmm. So sonata has three sections. Do you know it? So I think so. You think so? So first one is called Exposition. Yes. Second one is Development. Uh-huh. And there's another one. I forgot. Recapitulation. Okay. So recapitulation is actually the one they develop and then they find a way to go home, like go back to the original thing. And development is a lot of like changing keys, like modulations or mm -hmm. contrast. Basically, the idea of sonata is contrast or sonatina. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they they use lots of lots of comparison to like make it like lots of difference. So pretty much, we're gonna look at the exposition mm -hmm. this first section mm -hmm. <coughs> today. So let's take a look. So how like look at there's actually four lines, right? So four lines, how can we measure the phrases or the things? Do you think we can do the, the phrases like in one phrase in at four lines? Maybe. Oh, do you think somebody can sing or like just sing? Like I think it's kind of like 20, oh, 12 measures mm -hmm. with one breath. No. So they should divide into different phrases or they have something else to make the contrast as I said okay so first we can look where did they change so I play the melody Place, right they mm -hmm. suddenly change mm -hmm. it change a kind of like dynamics right mm -hmm. you see the crescendo here and turn it to piano mm -hmm. uh, 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 it's like that right mm -hmm. so that's the way they change the key and also the theme mm -hmm. so right before it before actually is F major right mm -hmm. so they have a B flat takes mm -hmm. place and here then they have a be natural, so mm -hmm. that means we have something special, something changed. Okay, mm -hmm. do you want to try the right hand right now for the first thing? I, I think it's from major, first major to six. 
Try out. I am sorry. Continue? Yes. And... Okay, we're going to start here. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay, so the thing is, first it starts with a... Uh, oh. Piano, right? Mm -hmm. And the, do you see there's a lot of slurs takes place, right? Mm -hmm. Really? Oh. So that's for... The really like the articulations for them to make a singing style because we have lots of slurs and make it like it's a sign to mm -hmm. get a singing style, right? Mm -hmm. And then we do this. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And suddenly they change it to staccato here. Mm -hmm. da, da, da. Then with staccato. See, this is a contrast where they have a comparison takes place. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Sorry. So, look at the left hand. They have a legato. Legato means. Is it legato means or? First one, so we do with the slurs, right? And the, you see, they have a legato in here, so that means they want you to hold the legato like the slurs, like as much as you can, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And take a look with the left hand. Let's try with the left hand. Mm -hmm. is start with a B. Every single B should be a flat. Yeah, but I just realized that from here, like from this triad to this triad, like it can't be a legato. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's why I stop. Okay. So the thing is you need to do the legato, but it's not like they ask you to do all together. Mm -hmm. So it's just like you do it within the measures will mm -hmm. make you more convenient because we don't think there's much of how can I my finger reaches to here. I'm not like Lizzie or mm -hmm. Chopin so I cannot do it I, either you mm -hmm. right. So try your best with this pattern. Mm -hmm. Okay try. For the basic one, like tonic, mm -hmm. and so this one, I see F. Pretty much is F A C, mm -hmm. and the second one is. Mm -hmm. Okay, so but this one is pretty much a tonic. Usually, they gonna introduce a tonic at first, like in the first measure, mm -hmm. and then the one they change key. Look at here. They suddenly have a B natural with a C, right? Mm -hmm. That's a very uh, obvious that they change it to C major because this is a tonic of C major. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then suddenly they have changed the accompany patterns, right? Mm -hmm. They have a harmonic interval. Try with it. They Yes. 
I think the fingers can... Okay, so this one, the left hand, so this week what I want you to do is do hand separate mm -hmm. <clears throat> and also do same separate, you understand me? Mm -hmm. Like do first thing, so you, I'm pretty much like first thing, I will gonna say it's gonna like end it here or here actually, this one. And this I prefer is, here. You prefer here. So first same, second same, okay? Mm -hmm. So chop it into same. So first thing you play a right hand and then you practice left hand mm -hmm. and make sure this part you doing a singing style. So do legato as much as you can like in the left hand and do the slurs like the sign, right? Try to do that because the, this is the only way you can use it as a cantabile technique, right? Mm -hmm. So that's a, pretty much the, this is the meaning for this first thing. And the next one is staccatos, but you also need to do the slurs. The articulation is very important. Mm -hmm. And don't forget your B flat in the eighth measure. Before eighth measure, you need to have a B flat. Sure. Here, but here, you change because you have changing key in C major. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this week, focus on hand separate. Just feel the difference, the contrast between. Uh, two seams and between two hands. Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions? Um, I don't think so. Okay, so uh, pretty much you're gonna start like ending here because we only uh, focus on the exploitation part for this this week and then we're gonna do later on for development or But other when I go home, I think I may struggle with this 16 and 8 notes I may, I may bring the question next class to you. Yeah, 